friends this video on work energy and power part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exams please make sure that you have watched part 1 to 4 before going ahead with part 5 now let us study work done using force displacement graphs that is how is work work done found graphically now if we plot a graph taking force along y axis and displacement that is denoted by s displacement along x axis then the area under the curve gives work done area under the curve means let us suppose this is a straight line that means as the force applied increases the displacement is also increasing right so this i get a straight line for force displacement graph now a area under this curve means if you join this point now the area under this curve will be this area so this area is equal to the work done right so in this case we would say that the area under this curve that is area of this triangle would be the work done now let us suppose that this is a, this is the graph plotted between f and s so what would be the area of this triangle the area of this triangle would be equal to area of the triangle would be equal to half into base base will be the value of s that is displacement into height what will be height height would be nothing but f now we also know that work done is equal to f dot s which is nothing but f s cos theta right so here we get f s into 1 by 2 so this 1 by 2 is nothing but it represents the value of cos theta so the it depends on what will be the value of theta so in this case we consider that maybe f and s are at an angle theta such that cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 right so in this case theta is equal to 60 degree so i mean i just wanted you to give the basic idea that for any curve between f and s force and displacement the area under this curve will give the value of work done right now let us go ahead and solve a few problems on work done till now we have seen work done is equal to f dot s that is f s cos theta using this we can solve hell lot of numericals the problem says a car of mass 3 into 10 to the power 3 kg traveling at 54 km per hour in a straight road is brought to rest in a distance of 100 meters by application of brakes calculate the work done that means there is a car which is traveling at the speed on a straight road and then suddenly it is brought to rest how by applying brakes you think it it is a very general scenario right you are going on your car with at a certain speed suddenly you apply brakes and the car stops so you have to calculate the work done so what are the quantities that are given here mass which is m is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 3 kg initial velocity is given as 54 kilometers per hour let us change it into meter per second so this will become 54 into 1000 divided by 60 into 60 so 0 0 will be cancelled 6 9 3 2 3 3 4 5 6 so we get 15 meter per second so this is the initial velocity what is the final velocity final velocity is zero because it is brought to rest right in by traveling how much distance after traveling a distance of 100 meters so s is equal to 100 meters now we have to calculate the work done now in order to calculate work done what do you need we know that work done is equal to f dot s so that means you should know s and you should also know f so how will you know f for f force is equal to mass into acceleration so even for that you need acceleration which is not given here so our first aim is to find out the acceleration of the car 
so we will use kinematic equation so we will use third kinematic equation so the third equation was v square is equal to u square plus 2as so here v square is equal to 0 u square is 15 square plus 2 into a into s is 100 so in this case we get a is equal to minus 225 divided by 2 into 100 so this is equal to minus 1.12 meter per second square so this is the value of acceleration the negative sign shows that shows that the vehicle is retarding which is very obvious initially it had a higher speed gradually the speed decreased to zero that means that it is retardation so the value of acceleration is 1.12 now we can calculate force force is nothing but mass into acceleration so what is mass mass is 3 into 10 to the power 3 and acceleration is 1.12 so this is equal to 3.36 into 10 to the power 3 newtons so this is the force applied on by the car now what would be the work done work done is nothing but f dot s now f dot s would be nothing but f s cos theta what would be theta in this case if you can see the case this is the car right so the force is also applied along this direction and the car is also moving along this direction so theta will be equal to zero so cos zero is equal to one so this will be f into s so what is f f is 3.36 into 10 to the power 3 into what is s s is equal to 100 meters into 100 so this will be equal to 3.36 into 10 to the power 5 joules right so this is the work done so what did we see what we did we did nothing in order to find work done we needed force and displacement and the angle between force and displacement these are the three things which we need in this question s is directly given that is the displacement is clearly mentioned the angle between force and displacement is obviously understood and force we have calculated using the kinematic equations. Now let us go ahead and see one more problem. Problem 2 says, what is the work that must be done to stop a lorry of mass 4000 kg moving at a velocity of 54 km per hour in 2 seconds. So in this case, mass of the lorry is given as 4000 kg. This lorry is moving at a velocity of 54 kilometers per hour. So initial velocity is 54 kilometer per hour, which when you convert into meter per second, again comes out to be 15 meter per second. Because this was the same value which we used in the previous problem. Now it says that what is the work that must be done to stop the lorry. Stop the lorry means you want to make its final velocity zero. Right? And in what time? He says 2 seconds. So even in this case if you see the acceleration is not given. So we have to find the acceleration. But since here T is given so we will use kinematic first equation. So let us use kinematic first equation which is V is equal to U plus AT. So we can say A is equal to V minus U by T. So this is equal to V minus U divided by T. So this will be equal to minus 7.5 meter per second square. So again here the vehicle is retarding. So we have negative sign but the value of acceleration is 7.5. Now let us calculate force which is again equal to mass into acceleration. What is mass? Mass is 4000. Acceleration is 7.5. So this is equal to 30000 Newton. So this is the value of the force. Now let us calculate the value of work done. Work done would be force into displacement. Displacement is also not given in this question. So let us find out the value of displacement. How will you find displacement? Right. In using kinematic third equation. 
So according to kinematic third equation, v square is equal to u square plus 2as. In this case, v is equal to 0, u is equal to 15 square plus 2 into a is equal to 7.5. But this has negative sign, so we will put a negative sign, as. So we can find s is equal to 15 into 15 divided by 2 into 7.5. So we find that s is equal to 15 meters. So this is the value of displacement. Now we have force, we have displacement. Therefore work done will be equal to force dot displacement. Now in this case again, since the lorry is moving on a straight road, so what we can say? The displacement is along this direction as well as the force applied is also in this direction. So this would be Fs cos 0 because both are in the same direction. So this will be nothing but F into S. So we have already found the value of force which is equal to 30000 into displacement is 15. So this comes out to be 450000 joules or we can say this is 450 kilojoules. So this is the work done. Fine. So what we can see, what you observe from the two numericals is that in order to solve numericals, you will have to find out the value of displacement and force using various kinematic equations. Right. So you should, all you should know is, you should take care of conversion of units. You should take care of the fact that you understand the question properly and put correct values in the correct formulas. Right. So I hope that by now, the concept of work done is quite clear to you. So now we'll go ahead and study about energy. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.